Hey honeys, welcome back and thank you so much for stopping by. It's your girl Nat here. So today's video is the second part of our hair porosity series, okay? As I promised, I was going to bring you all the different type of hair porosity. I was going to bring you a video on all the different types of hair porosity so you know exactly your hair porosity and the things to do so you can get that long, healthy, beautiful hair that you're looking for. We said in our previous video that it's important to know your curl pattern, okay? Which is actually easy to know because with your curl pattern, you can see whether your hair is curly or straight but then it's more important to know your hair porosity because your hair porosity actually determines the amount of you know heat to put in your hair what products to put in your hair how to style your hair okay and then we talked of what hair porosity was okay and we said hair porosity was simply the ability for your hair to absorb moisture okay how well your hair can absorb moisture hydration product when you put them in your hair we talked of the different types of hair porosity we said we had a low porosity hair normal porosity hair and high porosity hair we said low porosity hair is when the hair cuticles are so closely tight okay so so closely tight that it's hard okay for water hydration moisture to go into the cuticles but once they go in they can come out because they are locked in because the cuticles are so close we talked about normal porosity we said normal porosity hair where the normal porosity hair has cuticles be a bit open so slightly open compared to the low porosity hair so it's easier for moisture to go into a hydration product to go into the hair cuticles compared to low porosity hair and then finally we talked of high porosity hair we said high porosity hair cuticles are wide wide open so you can see wide open okay so water hydration moisture can go in easily however water hydration moisture can also come out easily because the cuticles are wide open so anything goes in easily comes out easily okay and then we talk we talked of the signs okay and the test you can do to know your hair porosity and then finally we focused on low porosity okay do's and don'ts things you can do if you have low porosity to grow your hair so today's video we're going to talk about normal porosity some people call it normal porosity some call it medium porosity okay but you can also call it balanced porosity because in normal porosity the hair is balanced okay and it works so well with you it's the easiest hair type to maintain okay because the cuticles are looser and moisture can penetrate easily okay a lot of people are normal porosity however they are either normal to high porosity or normal to low porosity so that means you're still normal porosity but you're either slightly close to low porosity or slightly close to high porosity because high hair porosity can change easily okay depending on how you look after it so let's say if you're normal porosity you can shift to high porosity if you're using too much chemicals too much bleach okay you bleach your hair too much coloring okay too much um heat heat tools and when you're normal porosity you've got to be very careful you've got to look after your hair so that you don't shift into high porosity okay, now if you're normal porosity already and you use too much heat too much chemicals too much bleached coloring that will shift you into high porosity okay so that is what i mean by your hair porosity can change okay depending on what you do and how you treat your hair okay and i said as well that normal porosity is best of all both worlds okay because the cuticles are raised okay so easy for moisture to go in however you don't lose it easily because they are not as open as high porosity okay for that reason there's so many advantages for having normal porosity hair okay and we're going to go through them the first one is your hair dries quicker okay so you get somebody who likes to just wash your hair you know and then style it and then off you go you don't like to sit and wait for air drying your hair too long then you'll be happy with normal porosity okay because your cuticles are slightly open so it dries quicker the second advantage is your hair when you style your hair it holds for days okay so let's say you're somebody that loves doing twist outs okay when you do twist out your twist out pattern stays okay you don't lose the twist out patterns because unlike high porosity hair it absorbs moisture from the environment however no more porosity hair when you have your twist outs okay it will stay in for days because it lock it, it locks anything it blocks anything any moisture from coming in into the hair okay so then your styles hold for longer compared to high porosity hair also another advantage is your hair takes color well okay it takes in color very well also your hair looks shiny glossy and healthy okay when you have normal porosity hair okay now another advantage is your hair gets wet quickly okay because the cuticles are open obviously 
when you put water in it, it will go in quickly compared to low porosity hair. Another great advantage for normal porosity hair is there is less work, okay? You, you do little work, okay, to retain length, okay? Because whereas in low porosity hair, you need to apply heat, okay? You need to put in extra effort to, and apply heat for product to be able to penetrate into your hair strands, okay? And then in high porosity hair, you lose product and moisture quickly because cuticles are open. It's best of both worlds for normal porosity, okay? So that means when you put product in your hair, with normal porosity, the product stays in your hair for longer. And that means this product will have time to work in your hair, promoting the hair growth you want, promoting that healthy hair you want, because it has time to do its job on your hair. Another great advantage with normal porosity is, whereas in low porosity hair, nuts are so common okay nuts are so common in low porosity hair and then tangles are common in high porosity as well with normal porosity hair nuts tangles are no issues okay they are not issues in normal porosity hair okay so that means knots and tangles if you have no porosity hair is not a big issue at all whereas in low porosity hair you get knots easily and then in high porosity hair you get tangles easily with normal porosity hair it's both of them it's not an issue okay also another another advantage with normal porosity hair is it's easy it takes less effort to stretch your hair to get your hair stretched okay whereas in low porosity hair you need to put in more effort to be able to stretch your hair because cuticles are really tight another great advantage with normal porosity hair is there is less build-ups okay and your hair gets less greasy so that means you can get away with using products like creams spray creams smoothies okay in your hair and not have much build up issues okay and so that leads up to the next advantage which means minimal breakage and split ends okay because there is less build up so the final advantage that i will talk about is that normal porosity hair has easy absorption okay and can retain moisture for long as well because the cuticles are slightly opened okay so it can take in moisture easier than low porosity hair and then it can retain the moisture as well it will keep the moisture in for longer compared to high porosity hair where the cuticles are more open okay so normal porosity hair can take in moisture and keep the moisture in your hair for longer now all these advantages i've talked about guys okay are also the characteristics okay they are the characteristics of normal porosity so if your hair dries quicker okay if your hair gets wet easy if it doesn't take too much effort to stretch your hair okay if if you don't have breakage much if you don't have split ends much if you know you have good hair retention then you know that you can tell that you have normal porosity if your hair looks healthy shiny glossy okay if you can if you have no problem using um creams and smoothies and spray creams okay if you don't have issues with um knots and tangles okay all these signs will tell you all these characteristics are normal porosity so you know you've got normal porosity okay now we're going to talk about the things to do and what not to do if you have normal porosity i will say if you have normal porosity hair treat your hair like you have high porosity okay like me treat your hair like you have high porosity because any slight carelessness you will be shifting from normal porosity to high porosity okay and you don't want to do that okay so there are certain things you want to make sure you're doing to avoid you moving from normal porosity to high porosity okay now the first one is try and try not to use too much chemicals okay too much coloring bleach okay too much hot tools okay heat styling tools okay on your hair so that you know it does not so that it does not affect your hair porosity negatively and changing and shifting your hair porosity from normal to um high porosity secondly try and use protective styling okay try and use protective styling a lot okay to avoid split ends okay and also to lock in the moisture that you put in your hair okay so that that moisture you don't lose the moisture try and clarify your hair frequently okay to avoid unbalanced state okay try and wash your hair frequently okay because if you remember we talked about the importance of washing your hair clarifying your hair frequently in a previous video and we said if you don't do that then you're getting yourself into issues with buildups okay and because of the moderate absorption rate of normal porosity hair okay you can get you can get buildups okay even though it's not easily 
common okay because don't forget that normal porosity hair the cuticle is not as wide wide open as in high porosity hair okay it's slightly open so it takes in moisture more quickly okay also use lightweight product in your hair okay so lightweight products like light oils okay milky products okay in your hair because of the moderate absorption rate of normal porosity hair again okay try and use lightweight product okay you can use oils like argan oil now argan oil is very good it prevents and cell aging so that's very good for the hair you can also use jojoba oil you can also use avocado oil avocado oil is great avocado oil will make your hair look shiny and prevent frizz okay also try and use humectant and emollient products in your hair okay as i explained in the previous video humectant and emollient products are brilliant okay for your hair if you have normal porosity hair now Hemictants attract moisture into your hair from the environment, okay, and then emollient will make your hair soft, okay, and also sealing the moisture, okay, in your hair and prevent it from escaping, okay, locks in the moisture in your hair. So try and use products, okay, with hemictants and emollients, okay, products like honey, they're very good, okay, for your hair if you have normal porosity hair. Now, finally, avoid silicones, okay, avoid silicones. Now, as I said again in the previous video silicones can leave a film on your hair okay and because of normal porosity hairs moderate absorption rate okay you want to make sure that you are not using any product that will leave a film on your hair so that anything else that you put on your hair after that can actually be able to penetrate into your hair strands okay you don't want anything blocking any product that you want to put in your hair so try and avoid silicones okay in your hair if you can if you have normal porosity hair okay okay honey so this is the end of our video on normal porosity hair okay i hope this video has been helpful and informative okay in looking after your normal porosity hair okay i hope now you know what to do and what not to do product to put in your hair and what not to put in your hair so you can get that beautiful healthy long hair the hair retention you're looking for okay and also to avoid the breakage the shedding the hair loss and all the issues you're having with your normal porosity hair and just in case you didn't even know that you're normal porosity but through the mentioning of the characteristics which are also the advantages okay of the normal porosity hair through that i hope now you know you are normal porosity and now you know what to do okay in looking after your hair so you can get that healthy long hair the retention you're looking for okay thank you so much guys thank you and if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by thank you thank you so much really appreciate you okay you are so welcome thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already okay because we would love you to stay don't forget to set your notifications as well so when we put it will come straight to you you'll be first to be notified thank you so much on here all we give us love and care to grow your hair okay so join us go on our hair journey let's grow our hair together and you will love it here thank you so much and to all my returning subscribers you guys are the best and you know that you know this girl nadia loves you okay don't forget to give us a thumbs up don't forget to give us a like if you haven't done already don't forget to give us a like if you've enjoyed this video okay don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you all so much for watching and please don't forget to share please share to friends and family you might help somebody out there okay please share for us thank you all so much for sticking with me till this time i really appreciate it thank you so much and look up to yourself okay and i'll see you in my next video take care god bless love you to the moon and take care bye